In Washington, the Speaker of the House of Representatives is calling for a pause in the refugee resettlement program for Syrians, and he's requested a classified briefing for all members of Congress. New Jersey Representative Frank Lobiondo is a member of the House Armed Services Committee. Thank you for being here. More than half the state's governors have pledged uh, to not let Syrian refugees into their states. Do you think the refugee vetting process needs to be strengthened? Well, there essentially is no vetting process right now. And uh, in addition to the House Armed Services Committee, I'm also a member of the House Intelligence Committee, and I chair the CIA subcommittee. And I've been in two days of classified briefings. And our first priority is to keeping America safe. And the reality of not having a vetting process, regardless of what anyone is saying, uh, is real. And until the administration can show us what that process is and guarantee us that we're not allowing terrorists to get into this country, uh, there needs to be a halt in the process. What can you tell us about what you've learned from those classified briefings? Well, I can tell you that uh, the enemy, ISIS, is not contained. Uh, it's evidenced by, uh, first, a couple of weeks ago, the Russian airliner that was brought down, uh, that now we know was a bomb by ISIS. Uh, that's not being contained. That's a new development that is very, very scary. Uh, the Paris attack was very well planned, very well coordinated very sophisticated mm -hmm. uh, and very well financed. Uh, this is not an enemy that's contained. Uh, this is not the JV. And it's a result of not having a flawed policy. It's a result of not having a policy. Well, wait a minute. And How do you, be, we, we do uh, balance uh, protecting refugees, fleeing the violence of ISIL and the safety of our country. How, how do you balance that? Well, the, the problem, the reason why we have a problem with refugees is because years ago when Republicans and Democrats were begging the president and the administration to develop a strategy and take a position and a policy, the president refused to. Assad was allowed to gas his own people, use chemical weapons on his own people after the president drew a red line. Uh, Assad has been allowed to use the most hideous of weapons, barrel bombs. We had an opportunity to take out uh, Syrian warplanes that were delivering these hideous weapons. Over years, we refused to. And we have, in essence, because of our inaction and lack of policy, created the Syrian refugee So problem. what are you proposing now? now? President Obama says boots on the ground would be a mistake in Syria. Are targeted airstrikes the right approach? Sure, but not pinpricks the way the president has been doing this. What, you, uh, you know, the French. What should the United States off. role be then? The United States role should be a leader. Our enemies do not fear us. Our allies do not trust us. And the French are doing some serious attacks into Syria. And you know where they're getting their target list? They're getting their target list from America. Why has America not hit on this target list of the oil fields and the training camps and the other activities that ISIS has been engaged in that we've known about for a very long time? This, this is a terrible failure on the part of the administration. Are you aware that now of any a worldwide problem and it's resulted in a massacre in Paris? Are you aware that they're of any specific threat to our nation? Sure, you have an ISIS video that has said they're targeting America and Washington. I mean, I can't get into anything any more classified than that, but you've got, you've got an open source video that specifically names us. If that is not a, a tap on the shoulder and a wake up call, I'm not sure what is. Thank you for being with us, Congressman Frank Lobiondo. Thank you.